let's pick a station. Hi, Nick and Nima. All right. You can start at any time now. Wait, did you submit last time? I guess you didn't. If you didn't submit last time, then go for it. Hey, Dara. Is it Dara or Dara? Hey, NDG. I used to know someone in high school named Dara. Uh, yeah, start now. Start right on... Start now. Um, before we... Before we start, I'm going to point out the new gift code. We did get a new gift code, and it is for 30 gold keys. Hey, Cash. Look at that. That's freaking... Um, that's huge. Look at this. So... If you have not submitted it, that gift, or you haven't done that gift code, then do it and rejoice. Rejoice in minor amounts of riches, I guess. What's this vid supposed to be? This is Team Critique. We've done it just a couple times already by this point. Okay, let me set up auto click. Hey, Snipe Dragon. Actually, how am I doing on keys? 210. Oh god, this one's This one's not good. This one's not good. All right. Let me just set up auto click and then we'll hop right on in. Uh, there was a patch this morning for the void cage. I'm not really sure what it did. It said some bugs, but I don't know what the bug actually was. Gah. Uh, Arsha, it means you spend the first 500 and you get the up hero and then it's 700 more so technically it's 1200 meaning that if you're pulling 1400 keys you are guaranteed to get it twice uh, before it was possible to not get it within two rounds and now it is absolutely 100 percent guaranteed that you'll get two up heroes in 1400 keys uh jin no one account if you submitted last time it's one account it counts for you so go ahead and start submitting now I just started so I, I will accept submissions for another 30 or so minutes hey Roman man I only have 400 keys on this account this one's gonna this one's gonna struggle too yikes 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 all right, let me let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with here. Okay. All right, my art, my alt will struggle to pull more than one round, especially since I don't play peaks. So we're going to start with Azeroth because he is the first one that we will take today. Hey, pawns. All right, so Azeroth has... Ha. Hey, Ward, Ward Explorer, Merry Christmas to you too. We're a day early, but I'll be streaming tomorrow because it's, it's not Christmas for me, but it will be Christmas for a lot of other people. 
but I will not be streaming on my own Christmas Day. All right, so wow. Um, it's a sad, sad day when someone can get to a T3 Yig before they can get Skulled. It's kind of sad. Nick, it tells you right up here and in the video description. You gotta be on the Discord to do it. I guess this is a good team. I feel like Yig has proven to not do a huge amount for teams, but... Because your Skull is so low, I, I kind of think this team is just mediocre at the highest end. Like, if you're going to play against someone with a similar team with 4 or 5 T4s, I think you're going to struggle. Uh, Skull is going to die first, waste her revive, and then once they really start firing, Aegina and Freya are just going to die. You have no protection for Kurt from crowd control. So your entire goal is Yig, but he is not guaranteed. Nick, what else would you have me critique? Hi, Azazel. <laughs> like, I can show you a video of Yig completely failing to taunt anybody. In like five skills, he doesn't taunt any of the damage dealers in the back. So this Yig is not going to save you. <laughs> Especially not when he's so low level. So I I feel like this team doesn't do that well. Considering how much you're banking on complete dumb luck with Yig. Um, and also because he's only T3, he doesn't stop the front. I don't think he's going to do that well. If they have a Kurt, you're done. If they have a Valk in the front, you're done. If they have any damage in the front at all, you're done. So I'm going to give this a six and a half. It has the potential to get better, but um, for now, in its current state, it's a bit weak. By the way, how's the volume? How is the, the volume of the music versus my voice? Should I turn anything up or down? Oh, wait. You said Tears Aegina, Star Shards Freya. T Replace Aegina with Lore or Veg. I'd rather have Veg, veg than... Uh, Do I have a cold? I am cold, but I don't have a cold. Hi, Ray. So I may be sniffling a little bit. It is cold lately. I would say replace the Aegina with Vedras here. But then once you have Skull, Lorelei may do better. Honestly, I'd rather have Lore and Veg than Aegina and Freya. So I would replace both of them. It's kind of your own preference at that point. Alright, next will be Nima. Alright, let's see here. Is 8 Viv better than 9 Luna? Yes. Luna's really not that good at higher end. After Kurt, should you do Azathoth, Yig, or Themis? Yeah. 
You're not going to want to hear this. But I think you can flip a coin. Themis for Freya is probably the best bet. And then after that point, hey Drogenis, it's like... Azathoth is, has proven to be a little bit more reliable, but he has hard counters. Yig is more random, but he doesn't really have as many counters. So, I'm not sure on... Yig is very, very unknown right now. Not enough people have really tried him. And like I said... Um, actually, you know what? Let me show you guys this, this fight. Let me show you guys this because I feel like this needs to be shown. Okay, for everybody that thinks that Yig is going to turn their team around, look at, watch this fight. Whoops, not him. Here. Okay, so what's, here's what's going to happen. Yig, or Bold, is on the right. Hey, Lamb. Tim is on the left. I'm going to watch this in one speed. Watch what happens here, okay? You see this Yig? He never lands a single taunt. So he casts, he taunt. Oh, he's taunted Freya, but it didn't do it. He never taunts Bale a single time. Okay. So if you're like, look at this, he's losing to all this. If he had gotten any taunts on Bale, I feel like he would have won this, but he ends up losing because of crazy freezes and petrifies. But mostly because he can't stop Bale. So if you really think that Yig is going to somehow make your team amazing. Oh, he did he did taunt Bale. But it didn't matter at this point because he had already cast. So Yig can be completely useless for you. He never stopped Bale and now... Like, spoiler alert, Bold loses this battle. I'll speed it up now. Okay, so he did not taunt Freya when it mattered, and Freya killed his team. So he failed to taunt Bale for like three skill casts. He failed to taunt Freya for the skill cast that mattered. This Yig. At T4 even, T4, max level, failed him. So, using Yig and thinking that he's somehow going to magically protect your backline, it's a pipe dream. It is a pipe dream. Nick, if you're asking me for help on how to use your phone, I think you might need to ask some other people for that. Like, I don't know what phone you have. I don't know how to use your phone. And Vivian got much better, yes. So, like, if you want to prioritize Yig, just keep in mind that he's not going to magically make your team amazing. He adds another factor of RNG to your team that is actually quite unreliable so yes i would say make themis next and after that it's completely up to you if you want to gamble on yig you can if you want to gamble on azathoth you can azathoth alone also does not single-handedly make a team amazing so it's just it's it's difficult i think yig is still high tier Uh, you saw that Bold also had Kurt and Themis, right? His team was a solid, solid team. He had Kurt, Themis, Skuld, Phoenix, not Phoenix, uh, Yig. Oh no, he did have Phoenix in that one. That He had a top tier team there. It just got destroyed. Alright, so back to here. Hey, JSB, do I think Vivian is worth building? I honestly, no. Orphe is trash. Absolutely trash. 
Should you use Verthondi and Reaper to make your Freya T3? I wouldn't, unless you know for sure you don't want Verthondi. He had Viv? Oh, okay. I don't remember the rest of his team, but he had Kurt Themis. And Skuld. Bale or Themis after Kurt? Themis is better if you want to push Planet Trial and stuff. I think Bale is more fun for PvP. So this team... I could give this a 9. 8.5, 9. I could give it a 9. Uh, I think Azathoth is more reliable than Yig. But Yig may be a stronger disruptor because Azathoth does his best work against healing against teams with like Vivian and strong healers. Without that, uh, his he's he's okay. He doesn't magically make you so much stronger. That's why it's kind of only he only really shines against like Viv and stuff like that. Hey, Atneb. So I can give this a nine. Honestly, this is a good team. If you add Bale, it goes up to basically 9.5, 9.6. Because that's as good as it gets. I don't have a dream team at this time because there is no single best team. Hi, last boss. Alright. If I get Yig, I don't know if I'm going to use him. I may not use him on my team. I don't... If I use him, it would be if I made an ultra defense team with like Yig and Watchmen or something. Speed Valk and Lore after making Kurt with Ragnarok? Yes. At Nebs, we don't even know what her skills are. This Next is Thought Destroyer. Did I spell that wrong? I did. Nick, everything is literally right here. Every single instruction you need to follow is right here. Every single one. And in the video description. Uh, Devin Patel, nope. I don't think they need to fix that. Hey, Imako. I think Azathoth is more reliable. I said that. Uh, we need to see more of Yig in action, though, because as far as I can tell, he's just way more RNG. Whereas Azathoth, while also being RNG, is has more benefits, I think, with his exile and call and stuff. Uh, I would like to see Arwen be good because we need a good assassin, but because guild tech for assassins is so bad, it's hard to say. I don't know about this team. I mean, on paper, it's not bad, but it could be so much better. Like, you've got the Kurt Skuld, but the heroes with it, Det and, Val and Freya, they're good, but they're not going to be amazing here. I feel like this is worse than Nima's, but better than my alts. I'm going to give it 8.75 because it's better than a standard high-end, like a decent team, but it's... Detlaf is just not that amazing. Not at this level. Now the Kurt will do fine, even low level. 
They're aiming for Lore to be next. Ho <laughs> ho you're in trouble now. You can't even afford to level up Kurt and now you gotta level up Lore from 100? Rip your resources. You're basically doomed. It's three. Only six Valkyries. So we'll give it an 8.75. It's a good team. It's just, uh, I think Detlaf is the weak point right now. But if you get Lore, then replace Detlaf and go from there. You're pulling two rounds tomorrow? Well, you don't really need the Monkey King, but it's nice to pull just to hope that you get Themis. Pulling Miracle Eyes gives, I think, just gold, right? No purple. All right, next will be Raphael. All right, all right. Wow. Actually, you're doing really good on resources. That's kind of amazing that you were able to cap Watchmen and Yig already. Hey, Stanislav. That's actually pretty amazing because that's not cheap to get these guys to 250. Two Star Shards, two Skull, two Bale, two Themis, 1200 keys. I really don't feel like Yig helps you so much. He doesn't hurt, but I don't know how helpful he is on this team. If it's just for Thondi, Freya, Yig, if they if they put their debt laugh in the in the front, then you can't stop anything, and and Yig is like basically useless. So I guess now people are going to have to start learning to counter Yig and start to put their damage in the front. So if you were trying to count, if you were trying to put face other Yigs, you might put Freya here in third. Verthandi with energy. Yeah, you can do it. If the rest of the team already has energy, if Phoenix, Skuld, Freya already have energy, you could put one on Verthandi. If you have a speed rune on her, it potentially can protect your whole team from crowd control just a little bit better. And gives you 20% true damage. Uh, last boss, that is incorrect. At 10 stars, he does not. He needs to be T4 to taunt the front line. And then, when you think about your chances, you have 50% chance to taunt each of the back. We're going to subtract 12 from that because... We'll subtract 8 from that. Hey, benefits. So he has 42% chance to taunt the back. When he does that, now you have 33% chance to randomly taunt someone on the front. Well, we're going to reduce that to 25. So you basically have a 25% chance of a 42% chance. You have a 10% chance of stopping anyone in the front. And so, at this point, I don't think that you would, iOS can share their screen on Discord. I don't have an iPhone. I know nothing about iPhone, but that's kind of cool. I like that idea. So, I would say you never rely on Yig taunting the front. Rely on him taunting the back and then hope that maybe you get lucky one day and he taunts the front but it's just not going to happen reliably. So, Raphael, I'm going to give you an 8. 
because this is a this is a fine team. As far as making Yig next, you can do it. I feel like he's not going to be as amazing for you as you hope as you may want him to be. But you you might as well make him next. But really, you might be happier with you might be happier with Detlaf. Detlaf's easy to get. Do not make Watchmen. He won't help your team. Watchmen will absolutely not help you. Uh, Mohammed, that video would be four hours long. Better answer is to check out the tier list in the video description below, and that will give you a rundown of everything. But I did release a top three of each, a top three heroes of each faction last week, so you can check that out as well. So, uh, Verthandi, then either Detlaf or Yig is your call, but not Watchmen. Lorelei would be nice as well, but Detlaf might do a little bit better for you to give you some more targeted damage. Okay. Uh, Stanislav, I am not taking team questions in chat during team critique. I do not need the rest of these screenshots. So this is Lord T. Hmm. All right. So we do have a new rule. Hi, Aishwari. Next hero going to be undead. Benefits! Okay, this is for benefits because he missed it. This is for benefits. Um... Hmm. I guess it's a good team. Kurt will be after Aegina. Man. I wish I could tell you to just make Aegina make Kurt first, but... Better to finish Aegina. But, new rule that I, f I keep forgetting to post. If you do not post your team screenshot, you lose points. So, whatever this team scores, we're going to subtract a half a point from it. I mean, it's very obvious what your team is, but let me see. How well does this do? I guess this does... I guess we give it an eight and a half. We would say an eight and a half because it's a standard build team, but... Because he loses, he didn't put his team in. We'll give it an eight. Uh, Vandet, the point of team critique is for me to critique your decisions on making your team. If you haven't even made your team and you're gonna make me do the work for you, you lose points for that. Like, why am I building your team for you and then critiquing my own work? Soner, why would you ever make six rounds? It's a waste to save for six rounds. You included the flag pick to see if you would have enough flags for a full T4 next reset. High available. 
who gets it if you already have rag on valk uh you put it on lore at that point so a t4 i think was what 560 flags so no you don't have enough you should probably save up some more like 500 more Uh, okay, so let me put a one point here. I'm not doing community polls tomorrow because it will be Christmas. Instead, I will be doing a stream on Saturday. So tomorrow, I'm just gonna run through the the Christmas event real quick. But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. It'll be a short stream tomorrow, just so that people can enjoy their holidays. My the community poll stream itself will be on Saturday, but I'm gonna make it earlier so that. Europe people can do a little can it's a little bit friendlier for Europe time. I'm gonna start around 1 p.m. Pacific time, which I believe is like 11 p.m. in England and stuff like that. So somewhere around somewhere around 1 p.m. Pacific time. So convert that to your own time zone. That's even less friendly to Asia, but you know. I can only I can only do so much. All right. Remember that if you're too far ahead or behind, it goes into a different day. So next is pawns. Ah, oh, Monkey King does not belong on this team. You see, I cannot, I can't make it be a good time for everybody. There's just, I can't start at 8 a.m. I'm just not gonna do that. That's that's not friendly to me. Oh man, this guy is going to pull for Monkey King, isn't he? Hey, Eskval. Man, okay, so Monkey King is like a low tier damage dealer on this team. This guy, Twitch says I'm playing Trials of Mana. Okay, hold on. Fixed! So fixed. Hey, Kyler. Ah, uh, like, Monkey King will do okay, but it's not the best choice. It really isn't. Like, I feel like Monkey King's just not going to add anything to this team. You clearly don't have better options, though. I have no cats. Hi, Yezu. Uh, okay, so we're gonna give this... I guess if we exclude the Monkey King, it's still solid. We'll give it an 8.5. It's, it's not a bad team, but... I really just don't think Monkey King is the best choice for you. You started it, so you should finish it. Oh, oh my god, this is a T3... No, this is a T3 Scold. Alright, you lose half a point for incompletion. 
for for making one here for making skull t3 and then working on new heroes already so we're gonna give this team an eight and i just the monkey king hurts to see a little bit Alright, next is Litigi. He does have loads of food. Lots of 9 star or 10 stars. Uh, Raphael, I hope to do like 30 more. On that note, I think I'm gonna close I'm gonna close the channel down. So let's close it down. And bring this scroll back up to where I am. I hope to do everybody that has submitted today. That's my goal. Okay, so. Huh. Huh. Tanking with Skuld. Am I a Singaporean? No. I am. Officially, I'm Chinese, but I was born and raised in the US. Hey, wait a minute! Wait, wait, wait! Latigi, you submitted last time! We're skipping this and moving on. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna critique it. I'm that's my bad. I should have seen it. Next is gonna be karma. Latigi, you cheater. But yes, tank with lore. Put damage on her, make her full speed and tank with lore. Alright, so Latigi is stricken from the record. Stricken from the record for cheating. I would rather have Azathoth than Yig at this point. Azathoth hard counters healers. Yig doesn't hard counter anybody. Dishonor on your sheep. Dishonor on your cow. All right. Veg, Verth, Yig. You're planning a crowd control teams. Hey, Vandit. All right, Vandit. Thanks for stopping in and Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, hijacked, you should really only use 1400 at a time. Honestly, I think it would have been worth it to pull for Yig last week. I don't know why you didn't. Uh, last, last week, sorry. Hmm. So, Karma is deciding if he needs to do Verthandi or Yig or Veg next. If you think about your end end game team, even Ripper is not a CC hero. He stuns the backline. So, if you were really trying to make a crowd control team, it wouldn't even have Ripper. So by that by that statement, your your own statement doesn't work for you. So Yig does fit in there because he then hijacked. It's not a matter of pulling to use Yig. It's a matter of pulling to get copies of Yig and meanwhile pull, uh, hopefully pull something good in the rest of the keys. The key heroes have not been the highest, have not been the best lately. 
So waiting for specifically a good hero in keys has not been the best strategy for the last two or three months. Hey, Zergon, thank you and Merry Christmas to you too. Mars is also low tier. Latigi, I already said tank with Lorelei, yes. You would be, if you can make the team, you got to compete with the Pogi. Pogi still hasn't made it, so we have no idea how it works. You saw that you can have matches where you can completely freeze and petrify the entire team and still lose. So crowd control alone is not good enough for you. You need, you need big damage with it. So crowd control alone. I mean, the best team is still burst. Hey, Jova. So you either aim for that or you are aiming for second place. So if I were to rank this team as a single thing team, I'm going to give it an eight because I know how good Ripper is as a single T4. Chessia is very mediocre. She really needs scold. Veg enables a strong team. His crowd control does enable you to do a good burst team, so definitely he's a he's worth looking at. Definitely he is worth looking at. But you have to fill in the rest of the team cuz you don't got it yet. You have like no pieces of it yet. So I guess you'll have to figure out what you want to put on that. But again, because we have never seen a pure crowd control oriented team yet, uh, because Pogi is slacking and taking forever, you gotta be, obviously he'll beat you to it. So he will be the one that decides how well it works. All right, next is Hobo Andy. Did you submit last time? No, you didn't. Ah, uh, see, this is the team that who was it? Somebody else was look making. Was it pawns? No, it was Raphael. This is basically the team that Raphael was aiming at. Hi, Kit. It's a good team. So now we get into what is the difference between eight and eight and a half. Eight is like just better than the a solid or just better than a team of no bad heroes. Eight and a half means some decent higher tier heroes, I guess, or a good mix of higher tier. So now I have to decide, where does this fall? I guess because of how it lands, I'll just give it an 8. One curtain, 30 tries. Ha! Ha! Wow. You think you can get a curtain, 30 converts? Wow. I couldn't get one in like 70 or 80, so good luck. I'm going to give this an 8. As good as it is, I know it is a solid team. Yezu, I'm glad you are learning. 
We can all learn something new every single day. Should you give up Olivia to make debt laugh? You can. Hijacked. I wish I knew. I've been asking for bail for a while and ended up just buying with moonstones. Uh, Christian, go to the hero. Go to the talent screen. And there's a convert button there. All right, next will be last boss who did not submit last time. Wow. Wow. Hey classic boys. Wait, weren't you, you already you already Wow. Hi Breeze. Uh, Nathan, as someone said, may. Available, I really don't want to handle people in consecutive streams. So you gotta wait another two weeks to submit yours. Alright, so... No, I know why you're doing this. I understand the strategy. Uh, Christian, they have to be an undead. You can only convert undead to undead. Uh, Shrikant, so... It kind of says right here, elf and assassin. It kind of says that. Speaking of which... Skills unknown. So the strategy is to have Kurt eat Watchman's emergency shield, which gives him plus 90% skill damage, which is pretty big. Can we assume that dev was fake? Not. I'm not going to say fake, but perhaps not an important dev at all. So this goal is to make Kurt die first, get the emergency shield, live long enough to fire, and then kill them all. Can he do it with this team? In theory, I would say it shouldn't because I would think Aegina eats that revive first. I mean, I understand the strategy, but I really think the Aegina eats the revive first. So I'm going to say that this probably fails against a good burst team. It'll beat any standard scrub team, but it will lose to a burst team. Uh, Yasin, you are too late. Sorry. Oops. Uh, well, no. I mean, once he gets Phoenix, he'll put Phoenix in the front. That's a given. Or you can tank with Phoenix instead. So, yes, it's a decent. I understand the strategy, and I also understand its weaknesses. Uh, hijacked, you do not need to ask everything twice, and especially not only five seconds apart. But you should not be buying heroes with moonstones until you have about seven copies. Yasin, you are too late. So. There's a Christmas event? Oh, shoot. I got to submit that too then. I got to... Um, Kurt always takes one. Watchman shield. Always? Hmm, 
I mean, I would I would think that it fails more often than not. It would work in like PVE, but then that's a really bad strategy because in PVE, your one Kurt shot is not enough to win the battle. I still think I would need to see pictures, but I still think it fails against a good team. Against like a really good team. And Azathoth would totally destroy you. So if you're fighting against another Kurt Skull team that has Azathoth or even maybe Lorelei or something, this team would fall apart really fast. So it comes down to the quality of your opponents. And if you don't have strong opponents, then, you know, the point is moot. So... When we critique this ranked against top end teams, uh, I think it fails. So I'm gonna give this a nine because it's really, it's good, but it falls just a little bit short. And also let me go check something. What was I gonna click? Oh yeah. I was going to go to better Twitch TV. All right, where is Sad Gay? What even is Sad Gay? What does that look like? I don't even know how to find stuff on this thing. I just have a whole list of things and I don't know I have to find stuff. Okay, we're gonna cheat. Oh, there it is. All right, I added sad gay. All right, this one's for Steven. This one is for Steven because I feel like it hasn't been done for him yet. Oh no, it's not high enough. This one's for Steven. Yeah, I got to do it to him. Because even Steven doesn't read. So it, this team definitely has potential to be a lot better, but in its current iteration, it has a lot of flaws. Alright, next will be Yezu. Next, Themis. Um... Well, I mean, so you're making Phoenix. Oh, I see. Themis, Skuld, Azathoth, or Yig. All of them are good. All of them are good. And I think all of them will equally add to your team. Themis will make it really good. Skuld will make it good. Azathoth will help, and Yig will sort of help. So... Themis or Skuld is 50-50. Probably Themis. So probably Themis, then Skuld, then Azathoth, then Yig in that order, in priority. Look at Steven. Steven just makes excuses. Alright, let's see here. Where do you go? Hey, wait a minute. Yezu did not post his team. He loses points. Hey, Odd Run. Alright. Hi, Alpha Dog. So his team is Verth, Valk. No, actually, he did post his team. It's just in text. Hey, Draken. So Verth, Valk, Phoenix, Freya, Skuld, Aegina. 
T-Force Scold next, res res next reset, and then 6 of 9 Lorelei. Hi, Ezanim. Viv or Det after Scold? Huh? Hijack. No, I don't not like you. I just, uh, don't need people spamming, that's all. So let's start with raiding the team as it is. Oh yeah, Christmas submission. We'll take a look. I gotta check out that Discord more often. Where is it? Oh, Christmas event. What? Wait, what is it? Dress up a hero with Christmas elements. Attach your artwork. Dang, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um... I, can't, I don't even want to submit. I don't want to... Well, we'll see. Maybe I'll do something. Uh... Song name? Song name is Party Starter by Domastic. It's actually in the chat above, but... Uh, beautiful life. If you force restart the game, they usually show up within two to three minutes. So, Yezu, I would actually think that force that fully converting Lorelei, Drow to Lorelei, is not a bad idea. But Viv next is iffy. I really don't think Viv does good unless you've got like a Kurt team. If you don't have Kurt, I'm not sure what your sustain is for. Like, I, I'm i just not sold on Vivienne on a mediocre team. I'm, I'm just not. Hobo Andy, there is none. Although Black Z has one that's pretty amazing, which is... Uh, Yig, Watchman, Azathoth, Skuld, Kurt, and who's the last one? Who's the last one? I forgot who the last one was. But it's like a ton of defense that's really hard to get through. Yig, Watchman, Azathoth, Skuld, Kurt, Who was the last hero? Mm -hmm. Themis? It wasn't Themis. Valk? Valk makes sense. I think it was... It could have been Valk. Ye oh, Veg. It was Veg. So, a team like that... But even then, it's... Even then, it's more random than anything else. Hard to fight but is more of a thing that will lose on timeouts than, or win by timeout rather than actually killing. Uh, Gerson, that's what moonstones are for. Everybody can get moonstones. Literally everybody can get moonstones. It's not as hard as you think. People just expect uh, the game to hand them out skulls for free. So, Draken, as far as I understand it, 
Vivian makes any Kurt team stronger until it faces Azathoth and then it just loses. So Viv fits on any team that isn't fighting uh, Azathoth. But she enables high-end burst. So like Kurt, Themis, Bale. And this guy doesn't really have them. He's got eight Kurt's. Okay. Then you know what? Make Kurt next. Work on Kurt. Buy the last from the Moonstones because he's only 150. And make him. And try to convert Dro into Lorelei. I think that'll help you a lot. And hi Birdie and Giggs. So this team on itself would get an 8. I'm going to give it an 8. Am I the leader of my team? Hell no. Hell no. Oh, shoot. That reminds me. That reminds me. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. That reminds me. Uh, where am I going to put this? Where am I going to put this? Can I put this down here? Oh, man. This, this is very important. This is very important. Next week is a collection event. So you do need to, or tomorrow is a collection event. You need to, you need to do the pre-idling. Daily login rewards random for all players. Nope, it's the same for everyone. Krista, if you're going to pull in Horde, it's a terrible idea. I can get rid of Arwen. Okay, I'll get rid of Arwen. Okay, so we'll put it there. Uh, Yezu, I do think that Dro is worth holding on to, but if you want progress, you could make Lorelei. It's it's a hard choice. But for now, and for probably quite a long time, I think Dro is more of a, a drag than a help. So we'll give this an 8. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just a standard team. And I would say work on Kurt next. All right, let's go on Grand Milo, who is Trollcraft, but I'm going to put Grand Milo here. So, if you don't know how pre-idle works, basically it's that. Stop logging in before, eight hours before the event reset. If you are on the Discord, I will tag everybody uh, at the 12-hour mark or so. Maybe the 14-hour mark. Do I have PlayStation Plus? I do. Uh, yes, my name is Tim. If you go over 8, it's perfectly fine. You can stop logging in 15. You're wasting some time, but... As long as you log in right when the event starts and have... And have a max idle timer, that's fine. That's all you need. Alright, so this guy loses points for having all of these heroes at T2, T1... What the heck? What the heck? Uh, available, yeah. I was playing Trials of Mana on it yesterday. Uh, Krista, the point that you expect a Kurt from converts is already the downside. Did I try Cyberpunk? I did not. I wasn't planning to buy it yet. And now it's a good thing I didn't because it's a good thing I didn't. because it's complete trash on PS4. <laughs> All right, so this is... Uh, where did I get the name Akari? Let me just put up one picture of her real quick. And this is a name that I've been using for... I don't know how many years now.
This is a small picture, but whatever. I pulled it from this character. From a show called Two Heart. Just a character I like, and then I got too lazy to think of a new... Uh, I should not... I'm just too lazy to think of a new name. $60 in the hole. They gave refunds, though, if you bought it. Alright, so converting Dro into Veg soon. Even converting Dro into Veg is not Hughes. Oh, you pre-ordered it already? Man, I'm gonna have to pre-order it too, huh? Hi, John boy. But I won't really be streaming it. I'll just be playing it, because it's a fighting game. Uh, so I mostly play action games and RPGs. So I've been playing Neo, Sekiro, Bloodborne. Uh, I played Ghost of Tsushima, and that one wasn't that great. Uh, Draken, the next Guilty Gear. Which is probably the only game I want to pre-order in the coming days. <sighs> you could have completely abandoned Dro and just focused on... Detlaf to T4, and then this team would actually be decent. But by doing it this way, now your team is pretty bad. Uh, Imako, I played it for like four hours. It wasn't amazing to me. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of worms. Like, it's... I feel like that's the kind of game that if you don't put like 50 hours into to get your game to get your aim up you're gonna end up doing terrible and if i can't finish the trophies i don't want to start games which i broke with fall guys but oh well i gotta play fall guys some more man i don't have time so this team would normally get like an eight but you have all of this stuff so we're going to drop it to a 7. Normally I would drop 0.5 for mismatched priorities and star levels, but because you have three of them at low, low ascensions, we're going to drop it a full point. So we'll give this a 7. Really focus on this Detlaf. Like, he should be your next T4. Converting this Dro into Veg is not going to actually make a major difference for this team. So, eh. Uh, Arsha, you will be able to, if you wait four days into the Christmas event, we will have the leaks for New Year's. It's fine if you want to save your resources for that, but at bare minimum, you should buy the Azathoth Gaia Bulga. That's like... Of anything, you gotta buy it. Uh, cash, the way that works is it takes a snapshot of the strength of your bag. Or no, it takes a snapshot of the strength of your bag and a snapshot of your last arena defense. And then puts you against people of similar bag strength. And goes by that. So if you have two T4s, you will start fighting people with two T4s. So, Milo, you get a 7. Okay. Let's do Sneaky. Uh, Nathan, the only reason it's better is if you don't want to make her a speed lore. There are pluses and minuses to making lore full speed. Mostly, you only make her full speed if you're trying to make her support against enemy Lorelei's and disabling their team 
and hopefully disabling their Freyas, but if she's not fast enough, you could put damage on her instead. Uh, Stanley, yes, we know that. And also, Azathoth doesn't heal, so that doesn't take much. Blah, blah, it is Mars. But why would you ask unless you were thinking of making a new account tomorrow? Alright, so this guy has a T1 Phoenix and a T3... And a T3... Uh... Kurt, so he loses half a point for that. So again, this is a team that would be an eight. It could even be eight and a half. A Martin, I use pure attack. Azathoth counters healing, but he does not do any healing himself. So literally, a three star. Uh, what's his name? Axel out heals Azathoth. So by ra by comparing him to uh, comparing him to Vivienne is like it's not even apples and oranges. It's like apples and race cars. Gaia Bulga or gospel song for Val? Gaia Bulga is stronger. All right, so this is sneaky. So normally this would be an eight. But we're going to take off points and call it a 7.5 because of his bad priority here. It's a good team. It needs Skuld though. This Kurt suffers without Skuld. So hopefully you can work on that at some point. Um, speaking of teams that you can't beat, let me show you this. I can't show you right n on the game because it's not now, but so on my alt, okay, hi, I lost, I lost, okay, well, hi, lost, I'm dead. So on my Chinese alt, I face this guy, I face this 16 hours tomorrow on Christmas Eve, oh man, murder, but good night, Draken, and Thanks for stopping in. This guy shows up at 9 every single time on my Chinese account. Every single time. And you know what he's got? He's got a freaking T1 Martin. And I can't beat it. Because my best hero is 9 stars. So I have never got... I can't get past 9 in Expedition because of this guy. And I've seen him 4 times in a row. And I can't beat him. And he's got, you know, trash heroes on the other 5 slots. And I can kill them. I just can't kill him. So, get used to it. Expedition's hard. Wow, working Christmas. I feel like working Christmas is still better than working Black Friday. Alright, so Sneaky only gets a 7. Or a 7.5. Next will be Reshab. Vivian S plus why by pure healing do you know how easy it is to beat Vivian with Azathoth if I have Azathoth your Vivian is trash so no she's not S plus not when she can be countered so hard one hero basically renders her from good to detriment It's very easy. Wow, two and a half times pay on holiday? What? My girlfriend is working Christmas and she only gets one and a half. Azathoth can't stop Vivian? Yeah, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Bold. I faced Bold's Azathoth... Er, Bold Estein, I faced his Vivienne team with Azathoth, and I beat it 3-0. I completely destroyed it every single time with Azathoth. Uh, 
Uh, high craft kids. Two Kurtz? Well, two Kurtz beats anybody, period. So, Azathoth T4 tomorrow, which would replace Freya. Or Verthandi. Either or. Either or is fine. And Kurt gets Gaia Bulga. Okay, that's not bad. Dragon Eye, we have never. We have no idea what. You're literally comparing heroes that don't heal. I mean, Vivienne will outheal entire teams put together. I don't need to see it. I've seen screenshots. I've seen Vivienne with 6 million healing. And it will still lose to an Azathoth. I've I've seen six million healing. Rohit posts screenshots of her nonstop. And I have seen Azathoth completely destroy him. So No, I'm not gonna rank I'm not gonna put Vivienne up in the You are probably the only person that thinks Vivienne deserves to be S plus. Even Rohit doesn't doesn't say that. And he's the one that's posting pictures of her nonstop. Personally, I'd replace Freya on this team. Uh Freya is still. Freya is still just too much RNG, and if you want to have a top tier team, you minimize your RNG as much as possible. Verthandi still gives you uh, crowd control buff, she still gives you true damage, she gives you very minimal healing. Uh, she, will, she will definitely be a little bit more solid for you than Freya, in terms of if you fight a hundred times, Verthandi is going to do the same thing a hundred times. Or at least 90, 99 times. Whereas Freya is going to do... She's going to go from... She'll make the whole range of 0 to 100. If you give a Gina speed, can you outspeed Lorelei? I don't believe so. Because I believe a Gina is lower speed than Lorelei. Let me confirm that. Let me confirm that. All right, so Lorelei final speed 1187, Aegina final speed 11. No, Aegina is faster. So Aegina is faster, but if you give Aegina full speed completely, no, you lose. You lose. Because Lorelei comes with energy. The moment that you put energy, or that you have to put energy on Aegina, she can't fire faster than Lorelei. It is physically impossible. So you lose 70 speed worth. So there is your answer. Aegina can never, can never outspeed Lorelei. Unless their Lorelei is like, doesn't have speed rune or speed t1 or speed artifact because you got to get you got to make up for 70 speed or not 70 sorry you got to make up for 42 speed from the artif artifact 39 you got to make up 39 speed and all else equal you'll lose uh reshab your call try them both I prefer not I prefer not to tank with Azathoth. I would probably tank with Verthandi because her damage comes from being tank and keeping her in tank spot is the most reliable for her. So, in with this team as it is, we'll give this a 9. Yeah, we'll give this a 9.
See, that Yig, Yig is proving to be very unreliable. Like, Yig can actually make you lose if you use him and he does nothing. Then he basically wasted the spot on your team. So it is very simple for... It's getting to be very interesting seeing how people are going to use Yig. Because, like Freya, he has just such a high chance to fail. Alright, so this was um, Axel, I think. You have debt too. I like debt with crit damage rune more than death break, I think. But honestly, they all. You use different heroes for different things. So if you want to use them as a crit machine for bosses, you can do that. If you want to use them for PvE, you can do something else. You got to play with it. I don't think debt laugh has a one size fits all setup. Uh, KL, you might as well throw in someone for the Aura. The Aura is pretty significant now. Ram, I've, I've heard that he can taunt the entire front line. But I think the chances of it happening are just not good. Like, I've seen enough times where he managed to fail to taunt everybody that mattered. Alright, so... Okay, uh, Azathoth T4 next. Oh, man. I feel like this is a team that's gonna get stomped on by everybody that has Skulled. Like, the moment that they have Skulled, you're probably gonna lose. Oh, so his thing is 33% for each member of the front? Hey, on. Huh, that's pretty cool. But I've seen enough battles where he doesn't taunt anybody, so... On, look at your clock right now. Is it Christmas for you? Because I'm going to put money on it not being Christmas for you. But also, I'm not streaming on my Christmas. I may stream on your Christmas, but not mine. Uh, Dragon Eye, he's so-so. Not amazing. So anyway, I'm going to give this team a 7. It just... It just loses very badly to Skuld. Is that a printer behind me? Yes, it's a wireless printer, scanner, uh, something. On! Is the 24th Christmas? Let me ask you that. Is the is December 24th Christmas? And will anybody agree with you that isn't high or on drugs? Or drunk? Uh, why? So, um... He's just too random, Dragon Eye. He's a good tank, he's got good disruptive capabilities, but he's just too random. He doesn't land his taunt matter. He doesn't land his taunt enough. And I feel like he can fail more often than succeed. Best item to buy in Void Shop? It's between flags, bloodstones, or the chest. The chest is good if you like to gamble. But otherwise the flags. In Europe, Christmas is generally on the 24th. What? Now I have to actually look this up.
They are celebrating the night. Oh, some Eastern Europeans. But that is still after the midnight point, right? Um. Hmm. That is really weird. All right, we are going to look this up now. Now I'm very curious. So Western churches and Eastern Orthodox churches. Hmm, one of my exes was Eastern Orthodox. But I am also not celebrating Christmas, so I don't care. It literally means nothing to me. Um, uh, Nathan, I still say that Yig was a must pull because if you are ever planning to use him, that event was the best time to get copies of him ever. Anytime he ever appears in up chest or anytime he appears as a chest hero, he's not going to be in the up chest anymore. So if you were ever planning to pull for him, and he shows up in Keys event, for 1400 Keys, you'll get three copies instead of five. And you're going to get two copies of some trash hero, probably Dro or Luna or something in the up chest. So yes, I would still say pull for Yig during his release. All right, you have T3 Bale and it's not going to make a huge difference. The Bale will help you. I argue the Bale is better for you than the Lindbergh, but I really don't think this Azathoth does that well for you. He does better when he has a little bit of healing, which you don't have. So your team is just going to get erased one by one. Lindbergh and Aegina are going to be gone to start. And then after that, I guess Lorelei. Well, Lorelei Valk will live a little while, but you're going to lose Aegina and Lindbergh right off the bat. And that's it. I'm going to give this team a 7 as well. Wait, no. This is not clickbait. Oh, this is Axel. Yeah, so Axel, you still get a 7. I mean, without Scold, this team falls apart. Literally, anyone with a Scold and a Detlaf is probably going to run through your team real fast. Skull, Detlaf, Freya. Alright, so next is going to be Clickbait, who I didn't even open yet. Uh, today is Team Critique, so it's not important. Nothing special. You're already too late to submit, so nothing lost. Huh. Wow, first 10 star Valkyrie. Rest of the team is, eh, whatever. If you really wanted to, you could tank Yig and replace Verthandi with Vivienne if you really wanted to. Not required, but might be a little bit better for this team to give you a little bit more healing. Why would we be happy when Santa's gone? Is it because it's after he's dropped off gifts? But I don't do Christmas. I don't give gifts. I, I have... Nobody that I care enough to give gifts to. So this is a pretty good team, actually. For where it is, this is pretty solid.
I'm going to give it a seven and a half. But like I said, you have the option. Hey, Bios. I, I say you have the option to replace Vivienne with Rithondi. Am I the Grinch? No, I don't take away people's gifts. I just hole up in my house and don't give gifts. And that way people don't have to give me gifts. It's so much easier that way. It's so much easier. Kid... Do I eat Chinese food and watch movies? No, we bought a roast. We bought a, a big roast, so we're gonna have a... We're gonna have a nice dinner, but that's it. Have a nice dinner, maybe watch a Christmas movie, have some apple cider or something, and that's about it. Not looking at anything amazing. So this team will give it a seven and a half. It's a good team. You really can only go up. Uh, you really can make some good improvements, but I think this team is great as it is. Robson, you are too late. Sorry. <laughs> Santa instead of the goblin? That would be fun. Oh god, I need to go faster. I don't know about Santa kidnapping kids. That seems kind of suspect to me. Working during Christmas. My girlfriend's working. I actually probably will be too. So I'll be working the morning of Christmas. But I don't get time and a half because it's my parents' company. Alright. Dro, Detlaf, Freya. What else you got? You got Kurt. You have Kurt! Why are you using... Why are you still using this when you have Kurt? And he's T4. Why? Thanks, Andrew. You too. Man, holidays mean... Holidays mean nothing in this, in this season. Like, Christmas is the same as New Year's, is the same as, as everything. You just stay home and don't see people. Even a 266 Kurt is going to do more for his team than this Dro. I mean, Kurt is often the slowest to fire regardless. I mean, he's slower than Detlaf. So he's always the sixth person to fire. So having him be the last person with 266 speed versus 300 speed doesn't make a difference. He'll still do more damage than most of the other people. Who to build next? Themis, Bale, or Aegina? Probably Themis. Like, I've never used Themis, so I don't really know. But I know Themis is better for Planet Trial, and Bale is better for PvP. So I'm going to say use whichever one you like more. Uh, if you want to do PvP, do Themis. Or Bale, if you want to do more Den Planet Trial pushing, use Themis. I really need to finish Themis, or, but I'm still missing copies. Hey, Zom, Merry Christmas to you, too. You're a day early, though. And hey, Abishai. All right, so this team... This team, I would have given a 7.5. Themis versus Bale is 50-50. I guess so. Themis is so random. Like, it's so easy for her to fail. Hi, Rohit. I feel like Bale is easier to use than Themis. But I guess I can believe a 50-50. So I want to give this a 7.5 for its merit. For the team that it is. But we're going to drop it to a 6.5. Because he's benched his Kurt. He benched his Kurt. Like Kurt is going to be better than this Dro. At, even at this point. So that was just a, a horrible decision.
So if your team is already strong, Bale makes it stronger, whereas if you're coming from a disadvantage, Themis has more of a chance to make the difference for you. That makes sense. That makes sense. Which means that people should be aiming for Bale to be coming from a position of power. Or, if they don't already have Kurt, then they make Themis instead. So if they already have Kurt, Bale is probably better. And if they don't, then Themis is better. We'll go with that. So, Yellow Mellow, you lose a lot of points for benching this, this Kurt. Like, how can you bench Kurt when you have that? Just think about that. If I didn't know you had this, this team would have gotten a seven and a half. Two polar bear? Where? I don't see any polar bear. He doesn't have a single polar bear on this screen. Themis is for final damage reduce. Two Polar Bear, I think, is not a great team. His damage... You can build one for damage and one for crowd control, and it would be interesting. But I feel like it's not enough. I feel like it's similar to Double Freya, which is, like, just random enough that it's whatever. Alright, next is Chow. I used underleveled Kurt at T3 280 on my main team and he did amazing. So just use him. Just use him. It's as you will it is night and day using him and not using him. Veg is a polar bear. He is a white bear. Alright. T2 Kurt over T4 Aegina. He'll probably do more damage in PvP. Polar has higher chance than Freya. Yes. But he has to get hit a lot for that to happen. I don't think T2 beats T4. It might be too low level, because that's just, what, 270? But even at 100% crit, Ve Veg is only 48% freeze. And he hits 100% crit pretty easily. But if you're not pairing that... I mean, okay, let's put it this way. If you have Kurt Skulled... You can put on four Veg Viseers and your team will still be amazing. Like, there is... Once you have the core of the team, which is Kurt Skuld, you basically take a pile of eight heroes, reach your hand into a bag, pull out four of them, and your team will be amazing. It literally doesn't matter. So, again, I can repeat this. If you have Kurt Skuld... You could pair it with four Veg Viseers and your team will be amazing. You pair it with two Veg Viseers and a Themis and a Bale, it's amazing. You pair it with a Lorelei, a Valk, and two Bears, it's amazing. So, it, it really doesn't matter what you use as long as the other four heroes are all considered top tier support. Or also damage. Like, that's... The interesting thing about the meta in its state as it is, and by Dragon Eye, take it easy and thanks for stopping in. But the meta in its current state is literally grab bag of any of those selection of heroes and your team will do great against anybody that doesn't have them. So it's it's good and bad. Kurt Skuld for Vivienne's. You could do it. Vivienne's not really top tier support though I would say she's a rank below 
Let me think. If they don't have an Azathoth, you'll beat you'll beat everybody that doesn't have an Azathoth. If they do, you might be in trouble because the point is that your team is amazing until they have a matching team of the same composition and then there's all the counters. So it takes your team to the top tier, but once you get up to the top tier, now you get into rock, paper, scissors. So six Azathoths, I still think something with Bale and Zexanoth could kill it. Because Bale, Bale's HP damage goes through Azathoth's damage reduce, and actually so does Azathoth's healing reduction, and yeah. The four Vivians lack damage. It literally doesn't matter. If you buff up your Kurt enough, he will one-shot everyone. If he fires for 1.8 million damage, it doesn't matter what you have. He'll still kill you. And he can do it. He can easily do 1.8 million damage. Alright, so this team is Chow97. I don't feel like I don't feel like Themis helps on this team, especially at low level. Uh, Nathan, it's just that by order of operations, HP damage happens after damage reduce. Everything else happens before, but HP damage goes after. You are welcome. You are welcome to message the devs and see if they'll change it but in this in this point it, it that's just how it works kurt scold themis scold who wins there are there is a 25 percent chance that themis wins that and the reason for that is if she lamb if she lands her damage reduce on kurt she then she has a chance to win if she doesn't, she loses. That's that's it. End of story. I don't really like this team. I don't really like this team. I just feel like Themis was not a good choice here. So we'll give it a 7. Uh, Nathan, if you've ever watched Bale fire against an Azathoth or a Bale or a Yig, their HP just drops. It seriously just drops. Ray Payne. Okay, I gotta go faster if I want to get to everybody. A Zexanoth for sure. Like, the point is the HP damage is supposed to cap at a percentage of their own attack. And then I think it was proven that Zexanoth is not capped. But it's not, I guess it's still not enough to make him strong. Oh my God, not only does this guy have a T1, T2, T3, he has a T2 Medusa. All right, guys. I think we're looking at our loop, our biggest loser today. I think we're I think we're looking at the loser. Ah. Uh... I'm going to give him a 4. Like I'm going to give him a four. This guy is going to get the crown. Like, I would have thought about giving him a five. The point is not that he has a T4 Freya. The point is that because of how he dis distributed his resources, he will be facing off against people with three T4 T4s. And if they have Verthandi Freya and one Detlaf versus these two T1, T2s, they win. This guy loses. And Medusa straight up loses to 10 stars. 
This 10 star, this T2 Medusa loses two 10 stars. So Medusa is actually a negative on your team. You wasted fodder on here to get absolutely zero gain in power. Like this Medusa does the same on your team that a, a, a 10 star Aegina would do. Possibly less. And instead of making a T2 Medusa, that could have been a T1 Aegina. Or it could have even be a T3 Shud, which is not a good choice. So, even making this with plans to convert is a terrible idea because these aren't good heroes. These are... The point of converting is to make medium heroes and then level them and then convert them to god tier heroes and instead you made trash heroes which is a is a flat up negative on your team willy thinks it should be lower than 4 i'm actually on board with that see breaking down is bad cuz he Resources are not that easy to come by at this time. Alright, we'll give it a three and a half and call it a day. Doesn't matter. If you had no options, you don't make them. If you had... Like, Detlaf's not hard to get. You could have just bought Detlaf on the Soul Shop. You already finished Freya. It's okay to just buy Detlaf from Soul Shop and convert him. Or not convert him, but reset the soul shop over and over and just buy him there. He's not hard to get. You would have been better off waiting to get copies of Detlaf and having 9 star, 10 star shoot in Medusa while you wait for copies of Detlaf. You literally would have had a stronger team at that point if you did that. And you didn't do that, and now all of the 9 star fodder that could have been used to make Detlaf is gone. You've got a couple here, but... I know it sucks to want progress, but this is not a game where you can rush your progress. That's just not how idle games work. If you do not play it slow, you end up at a disadvantage against people that did play it slow and efficiently. And... This is proven by here. Now he is stuck with a T1 Shud Mel that he cannot convert. You can't even convert Shud to Aegina or Detlaf. You can't do it. You gotta... Because you already made the Aegina and Detlaf. These aren't in copy form. You have to break them down before you can convert Shud. So that is even more negative points to make these guys 9 stars instead of the shoot so the roadmap now is wait for detlaf copies get your last it verthandi out of somewhere out of feathers out of advanced wheel focus on verthandi and honestly ride with two t4s just wait you foddered thanks arc ninja you f oh shoot that's not showing right now That's not showing. It's it'll I think it's gonna lag. That one may not show up on the screen. I'm sorry, Arc Ninja. Converting Medusa to Kurt. The point is that even before doing that, this Medusa is literally trash. So Tief. you should change the Aegina. You say soon, but like, I don't know how many copies you have. And at least you didn't level up the Kurt too. That's a saving grace. But it's just, just wow. I mean, I'm glad that you posted your, I'm glad that you posted your team and now we, I can help you get on the right track. 
but whew, what a track you were on. It's way too expensive to break down a Gina Detlaf to for Shud. Like, I don't know what the best answer is. I don't think that this account would have enough Phoenix Stones to do all of that. Like, I would assume you have 15, maybe 20 Phoenix Stones at this point. You need 10 to fix your undead, 5 more for Kurt. You can't make any more mistakes at that point. So, whew, I think we got our, you have 15. See, that costs you all fix, all 15 to fix this. It's, it's very painful. Very painful. Hey, uh, what? That, uh, that doesn't say light. Ligant? So... So again, make Verthondi, and then just wait. Wait for copies. Don't level up Medusa. Don't level up Medusa shoot anymore. Figure out what you're going to do. I think you're really in trouble with the... With the, sh with the undead. I think your undead is really in trouble. T4 Medusa and pray for Medusa buff. And in the meantime, T4 Medusa literally loses to 10 stars. Like... See, Giggy, you've been playing since the beginning. You had Phoenix Stones. He doesn't. He doesn't have enough Phoenix Stones to fix it and keep any on hand. So this guy... Whew. But uh, anyway, so Ray Payne or Rahul, now you've got a direction. Don't make uh, impulsive choices with your leveling because you anything more that you do will be irreversible. So you've, you've got, yeah, you've got a direction. Go from there. T4 Medusa, the worst T4. Uh, she's the worst of the heroes that people make thinking that they are good. That is your best answer. And Arc Ninja, honestly, foddering Aegina is not a terrible choice anymore. She's not amazing. Oh god, I got like 20 left. Let's hurry, hurry, hurry. But Ray Payne, I think you're going to take the crown today. So I I D K K K. Uh, I would put the draw in the back. This this Ultima is gonna fire anyway. You might as well get Dro to get the benefit from it. But really, so he has the Dro because he ha he bought the battle pass, which makes sense to why he has so many Dros and nothing else. And Ripper was given for free. This is no more than two copies of anything. At level 100, I think he's only got one Freya. The one from level 100. I don't think he got... He should have bought the second one with souls, but... He should have enough to do it by now. So you should have been able to make Freya. And actually, having this means you've pulled Miracle Eyes in Heaven and Hell. So you should have had the fodder to make Freya. This is not actually a trash team. Say what you will, but this team is actually functional against the people that he'll play. It could be so much better, but this is not a bad team. Assuming that this really is all that he has, it's pretty good. I 
I think he suffers against Reapers. VIP, VIP 3 is like two monthly passes. It doesn't really get you that much. Uh, on, we will not know who's in the Luna Trial for 82 hours. So wait until the teaser on Sunday, and maybe we'll know after then. You think he should have a 10 star at this point? No. No. Not at all. He should have some 9 stars, though. I feel like he is progressing very slowly. He should have a full team of 8 stars at this point. Uh, all right. I'm going to give this team a 5. Five and a half. I think it's an okay team. But I would put the draw in the back. What do you get at VIP 3 now, actually, by the way? I know they redid the, uh, the rewards, but let me see what you get now. So VIP 3 gets you... Oh, it still doesn't get you a hero. VIP 4 gets Walnir. Okay, so you don't get Mar. You don't get the Freya. And you get. You get like. You get 40 backpack slots. You get some X. No, I don't think VIP 3 is. I don't think VIP 3 is amazing. He has no gems, which is actually more worrisome. So what has he been wasting his gems on? So this is a team that you kind of worry about how this guy is playing because he's not making good choices. So, but we can't judge that because we can't see his bag. I don't think it's a good team, but assuming that he's playing against people that are having similar, similar teams, I think his team is fine. We'll give it a 5. It's decidedly average. But I would move the draw to the back. Alright, next will be Moises. Take it easy, Arc Ninja. Thanks for stopping in. Really? Really? Wow, it takes all kinds, huh? It it really takes all kinds. This is a what a team this is. What a team this is. Uh I don't even know where to go with this one. I think this is a team that's just going to do really bad against anybody with T4s. Like, Yig doesn't help this team. If their, if their T4 is Verthanti, you lose. If their T4 is Valkyrie, you lose. If it's Reaper, you lose. And also, you've got two T3s instead of a single T4. So, this is an unfortunate team. So, assuming that they have... Who did you buy with Moonstones? Asphalt is right. This achievement is gone, meaning you've bought a hero with Moonstones. Why, why did you do that? Yig and backline doesn't matter. Wow, okay. Oh man, he has this frame. I want this frame. You bought a Kurt. Yeah, that was not a good purchase. You should not be buying heroes until you have seven copies, and you clearly only have three. This is... This team is going to lose to 
like 90% of the single T4 teams, if, if they have a decent T4. You're gonna lose to everyone with a... You're gonna lose to everyone with a Ripper, everyone with a Reaper, everyone with a Verthandi, everyone with a Detlaf. Uh... Uh, Nathan, if you already have multiple star shards, you can, but remember that you'll still need, remember that you'll still need two more. So that's a very expensive purchase. Should you finish the Aegina with Moonstones? Absolutely not. Aegina was a very poor choice. Honestly, your best bet is to abandon them both and go to Verthandi. Verthon you should you should have had a Verthandi or a Freya, a Freya at this time. With this much spent, you should have had either of these. And either of them would have been a better T4 than either of Yig or Aegina. Does he beat Ray Pain or not? So this is Ray Pain. The problem is Ray Pain has Medusa, which is basically a negative. But Ray Pain at least has a. I think Ray is better. I actually think Ray Pain's team is better than this one. So I believe we have a new crown contender. I I actually believe Moises Dr. Roshi takes the crown today. This is, this fails against everything. Like, who does this beat? Like, Yig's taunt does what? It locks down their damage to what? You've only got two heroes. You're not protecting anybody. Uh, you should make Freya first out of those. So, Moises, it looks like you've got the crown then. Wow. You probably shouldn't have told me that you bought Kurt when you have this. You probably shouldn't have told me that because that actually is more negative points for you. You probably should have said, I don't know who I bought. I forgot. I think that would have, I think I would have been happier knowing that. Sit, believe it or not. Okay. Let's move forward. No, he should, tanking the Verthandi is the smart point. There's no point in making Yig take unnecessary damage. Like, he has no healing. You're just gonna have Yig die for no reason to protect this, who is also gonna die really fast because Aegina is ultra squishy. Everybody that uses Aegina knows she's very squishy. Uh, Nathan, if you don't think you need a third energy artifact, you can do it. I'm just warning you that... If you get stuck at a T3 Kurt for a really long time and you could have used those Moonstones on somebody else they would have gotten to T4 or energy for a more critical hero, you're going to you're gonna slap yourself. Alright, so Google asks... Uh, Alpha Dog, it's been proven that Yig is squishier than you think he is. He dies faster than you expect. In what order do you level up to 300? And who to focus after Kurt? Could T4 Detlaf or Verthandi or go for Azathoth or Monkey King or wait? Uh, your priority is going to be Kurt to 300 first. You're halfway to a third Kurt? You wait, you have two Kurt 10 T4s already? 
Should you finish Aegina at all after Freya Berthandi? Yes. She's worth finishing. She just isn't a priority. So it should be probably Kurt first, then... I'll tell you this. Phoenix and Aegina are last. After Anything else is pretty much up to you. Oh, I see what you mean. Halfway to a third Kurt copy. It's a, it's a terrible choice. This Kurt is T3. Oh, okay. So the Kurt is max level. Okay. Then it probably should be Freya. Freya, then maybe Valkyrie. Then either Skuld or probably Skuld. So Freya, Valkyrie, Skuld, Phoenix, Aegina. That's the order. And who to T4 next? Detlaf or Verthandi? You don't really need Verthandi. You don't really need... Okay, so it's between Detlaf, Azathoth, or Monkey King. If you want to think of who is better than Aegina, it's probably Azathoth. Probably you would build Azathoth next and replace Aegina. This is a good team, actually. This is actually quite a good team. I'm going to give this an 8. This is... And it's VIP 0, so... Like, this... This is where you should be at VIP... A VIP 0 is, like, amazing here. Lorelei? He has no Lorelei's. Lorelei was not on his priority list, so... If all he's got is 3 copies, that's not really worth it. Secret treasure is well worth skipping wheel event. Why are those two related? Were you going to buy wheel tokens to buy to finish the wheel event? And if so, then hell yes. Yeah, secret treasure is so much better. Okay, next will be... Dan. Hi, running Riot Finn. Merry Christmas to you too. Yeah. Hold on. How many pictures do I need here? This guy did not post his team, so he's going to lose points for that. Oh, wheel tokens is a terrible thing to spend gems on. Terrible thing. Of all the things you can spend gems on, buying event tries and buying gold soul packages is way higher priority. Followed by probably buying um, alchemy. Alright, Dan did not post his team. This is an okay team. Kurt is, Kurt is not the best build yet without Skuld, but it's he's just starting on it. His priorities are good. Everybody's T4, so I'm happy with that. Oh, okay. So if you always have a monthly card, then I can see it. Then okay. That's fine. You sent a wrong image? Phoenix out, Veg in. With what Veg? Oh, I see. You meant, uh, the other guy. Uh, Giggy, I don't think a CC team is good enough at this point. I think that if you don't have big damage behind all the crowd control, it's not good enough. And he didn't really quite have it. Well, I guess he did. I guess it's doable. I just prefer not to be a... A crowd control team because it falters a lot. And Skuld really can ruin your day so fast. So you need Skuld. 
Scold is very hard to get. But you should have gotten a free one over Thanksgiving. Like, everybody got a free one over Thanksgiving. Think about that. Oh, you have two copies, actually. So you should have more than that. You should have a few more. She is probably the one hero that it's not such a bad idea to focus on uh, Moonstones on her. Because she's just so required, especially when you're trying to build heroes like Kurt. So this team, if I had to rate it, probably a 7.5. It's just like decent, but 7.5 I feel like is the decent, no bad heroes score. 300 for next. Good luck. I hope you get a Scold. You need it very badly. One Star Shards or Scolds copy. Depends on how many energy artifacts you have and how many Scolds you have. If you do not have enough... If you have less than two energy artifacts, you should buy Star Shards. If you do and you have less than seven copies of Scold, you should save them. If you have two energy artifacts and you have seven copies of Scold, then you can buy Scold. Uh, Riot Finn, do not make Walnir T1. He's not that good. Oh, yeah. And you lose half a point for no picture of your team. So we'll give this a seven. We'll give it a seven. All right. Next is going to be Sakib. I don't even know how do you pronounce that. All right, take it easy, Geeky Gigs. You waited till the worst time to buy things for Christmas. That's a terrible idea. Now is like, now is like bad for stores. Well, thanks for stopping in. What do you focus on next? Uh, who do you focus? You have 300 Moonstones waiting for next copy of Scold. I would say buy finish debt laugh. Is this all you've got for Kurt though? Good night, Droganis. Thanks for stopping in. Actually, this could be a T3 Kurt. T3 Kurt would be better. So forget debt laugh. Build the Kurt. Man, you went all in on Yig and skipped Watchmen, huh? That's not. Not bad. All right, go all in on Kurt. Make him next. He will help you the most. The most. But using your Moonstones for Scold is perfectly okay. But again, also depends how much energy you have. You would like to have at least two. One for Freya, one for Scold. Good night, Trollcraft. You got two Lorelei's. Wow, you are stuck at seven on a lot of heroes, huh? You got lucky with Yig. He really did. Well, actually, no, he didn't buy the package, huh? Dang, you did get really lucky. Because it looks like you did not buy the skin package or you would have had it equipped. Dang, seven, eight skull, eight Yigs. All right, I would say focus on focus on Kurt next. Well, building Kurt over Yig, I would say it was okay to make Yig, but you shouldn't have leveled him. He probably could have stayed at level 100, and you would have been better off focusing all your resources into Kurt, because Kurt's much better. All right, so this team... I'm going to give this an 8. I feel like you've got just enough power that you will hold your own against all teams of similar strength. I think this team is fine. But because you have multiple T1 heroes or you have a debt laugh at T1, I'm going to take away half a point. I'm not going to dock points for Yig because for, uh, for 
awakening event that was perfectly fine gold and purple from 100 to 250 let me check All right, it is eighty five million gold and a hundred and fifteen million purple. It's in hey Aldem, it's in the wiki in my Discord. It's up near the top. So eighty five million gold and a hundred and fifteen million purple is what it will cost. Yeah, okay, so Saqib, you get a seven and a half. You lose points for this debt laugh. But overall, this is not a bad not a bad uh team. Alright, now I have to read this. This is Obkudeni. Obkudeni Kavgayak. Oh god, how do I write that? I'm gonna say this. Oh, Kureni, good enough. All right. Rathandi Skull Loreleif. Why is your Phoenix in the back? This is a poor decision. Well, actually, maybe not. Maybe not. You don't have enough damage to buff it up. I still think it would be better because you've got damage from Rathandi as well as. Lorelei and Luna. I think it would be better to have Phoenix in the front. Nathan, look in the the wiki channel. It's under the facts category, and it's just called wiki. So you've also got Bloodtooth, Olivia, Walnir, Freya, Bale, Reaper, Vivienne. Are any of those better than what you've got? Not really. Man, this team would be annoying to fight. Uh, Vibin, I've never played Skyrim. I never cared for Elder Scrolls. Because I watched my brothers play like Daggerfall. And I didn't care for it. This is not a bad team, actually. I feel like Luna suffers a little bit. She's not the best 10 star to make. You would have preferred it to be someone else. Um, Bios, the only downside of that is flags. At level 118, you don't have enough flags to just throw around 10 stars. And considering that he built Skuld, Phoenix, and Verthandi, I think his Cleric flags are very tight. First Star Shards, put it on Luna. Luna's really good with energy. Remember how much I didn't like Ghost of Tsushima, though. I feel like I'm going to get similar vibes between that and... Elder Scrolls. It's just it's just really not my not my bag of tea. Cup of tea, sorry. Alright, so this team will do fairly well against similar teams. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. You're just stuck waiting for copies at this point. But this is already a solid choice. But Luna is not one that you want to continue with. Do not take Luna to T4. You really would prefer your first ones to be... Probably Verthandi is the better first one. Why do you have so many 8 stars? You lost... You're losing 
50 cleric flags here. No, 30? You lost 30 cleric flags here. You lost 80 here. You lost 10 here, 10 here. Okay, stop. Stop. Take, stop awakening people. This is, it's like you are throwing your flags in the trash. You really are throwing your flags in the trash. You would have rather had one 10 star than to have all of these seven and eight and nine stars that are useless. So I know he's low on flags, but he's not using them right. So just because you're waiting on fodder doesn't mean you should start leveling up bad heroes. Uh, oh well. You know where to go. You've got, you're waiting on copies. These are good heroes to go with. Um, Aegina is a good one if you can get her. Vivienne is fine. Freya is really good. Rathandi is really good. Valkyrie's good. Skull's good. You're... Mm, I don't know about that. I feel like he put flags into Dro and Shud thinking that he was going to use them, which he won't. Not when he's got this team. So you got one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. There's only seven more. I got this. But it's not a bad team. Alright, next will be Kaepsa. Making cleric fodder is very dangerous for new players. Very dangerous. You do not have enough flags to make fodder and as well as leveling up your main heroes. Flags are not that easy to come by. All right. Oh my. Oh. You know, the last few streams we had, like everybody had good teams and it wasn't easy to pick a loser. This stream, we've got people coming for the crown. My goodness. M this is T3, not T4. All right. Kayapsa unfortunately shared the rest of his bag. So let's see what bad decisions he's made. He worked on Yig, that's fine. Kurt's fine. Actually, no, the rest of his bag is fairly clean. So this is not, the bag is clean. You could probably 10 star this Luna and fodder that, but oh my God, look at all of these Verthondis. You could have had a T4 Verthondi. And Verthondi would have been amazing. And this Dro is the polar opposite of amazing. You could have T4'd this Verthandi. You can't even convert this Dro into a Veg because you already built the Veg. Ah. Uh... All right. You haven't wasted so many resources yet. Asphalt suggests breaking down the the dro and pumping it all into Verthandi. And you know what? I think that's the best idea. He doesn't have enough bear to convert. You need seven copies. And even then, bear is not a good first T4 either. So... You you need to you need to bust this dro. A lot of wasted Phoenix stones? No, only five. Five to break down dro and then just throw all the fodder straight into Verthandi. Wow, okay. 
No, don't worry about breaking bear. If you break Dro, just build bear from scratch. But once again, bear is not good as an early T4. He'll get enough resources from breaking down... He'll get enough resources from breaking down the Dro that he can level up. So, break down the Dro, take this Verthandi all the way up to T4, and run with that. That is infinitely better. Uh... This team literally doesn't beat anybody. Uh, Ligant instructions right there. You are, you are losing the flags to make up for an absolutely critical mistake. This You win on defense. You lose on everything. You will never beat anyone on offense. This draw is the same as a T4, a T3 Rilia. You'll never beat anybody on offense. I want so much to give him a one, but I feel like I can't do that. Attack Dro is not gonna. You're never gonna beat anybody. Does it beat the Yige Gina team? Yeah. A Gina at least does damage. Dro doesn't even do that. Uh, Mr. Devil, Yig just came out two weeks ago, and the new hero will be Arwen, an elf assassin who will come out probably next month sometime. Convert Dro to Deadlaugh? You can't. You cannot. You can only convert within the same faction. Two points. I think this guy takes the crown. Two, two and a half, somewhere in that range. We'll give him a two. Uh, We'll give him a 2.5. I'll just... Let's just give him a 2.5. The level's even worse. It's 251. You're T3, and you never leveled her up above 250. You cannot convert Abyss Lord to... Oh, man. If you could do that, that would be pretty good. But cannot do that. The new assassin hero, she looks like this. Oops. This is the new assassin hero. We do not know her abilities yet. But she looks kind of cool. Uh, Nathan, once they start the releases of heroes, they go very fast. But they go in a row, right? Alliance, Horde, Elf, Undead, Heaven, Hell. They release six in a row very quickly. And then they break for like four or five months. And then they start the cycle anew. And then they release them back to back very quickly. Uh, Mr. True Joe has not been reworked, but we have no idea if or when she will ever be reworked and what it's going to happen. All right, so Kaepsa, wow. Ray Payne, this team, ends up being out of the running for the crowd, uh, for the crown, and Kaepsa comes right on in and takes it. This guy right on in takes the crown. So congratulations, Ray Payne. You're out of the running. Uh, Amon, if you want fodder, you might as well pull. There's no point in saving too many. There's no point in no or er, saving too many eyes. Uh, Imako, I can read the alphabet, but and I know some basic words. But I wouldn't say I know Russian. Alright, so this is Cham. 
Yeah, Ray Payne, how about that? This guy... This guy just came in and blew everyone away. Oh my gosh, what is up with this? What are these people doing? Ah, uh, Devil Soul, there's a lot of questions, and the biggest one needs to be... Can she counter having no hit rate? Assassins have no hit rate. And if she doesn't have anything that gets her past that, she's screwed. <sighs> Clearly you made the Yig for... I mean, the level breakdowns are not bad. But you have a T1, T2, T3. Man, people are coming for that crown hard today. At this point, you might as well have just used the Moonstones on Valkyrie or something. I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> you have so many six-star undead. That's kind of funny. Man, people are people are fighting for the crown today. But this team does better than the Aegina one cuz uh Valkyrie is at least better than Aegina and Lorelei is also better than Aegina. Oh, he's got a lot of gold. I wonder how much purple he has. Probably not much, otherwise these hero would be higher. You have two Valkyrie. So you have the Valkyrie. So then, yeah, you should definitely be making Valkyrie. No flags. Fair. Fair. But you've also got fodder ready, so you can fodder this Luna, no problem. Okay. So this team actually is not... I guess I would normally give it like a 7 if it was regular. Maybe, a, yeah, I would give, I'd give it a 7. But you lose points for having all the breakdowns, we're going to give it a 6. We're going to give it a 6 because you have all these T1, T2, T3 is just a it's just bad. So, way out of the crown running at least. It's not a it's not a good team to look at, but it's more functional than the rest of the crown teams that we have seen. The top team of today so far has been this one. Kaiepsa has come for the crown and I think he's going to take it. All right, we got one, two, three, four, five left. Let's do it. The top team nine. Uh, there's a couple of, there's three nines in there. So any one of them would have been similar, but let me get one of them. Axel Vishab. So this, this was a sample of a nine team. I mean, because this, this is an amazing team right here. This is basically what you would need to do to get to a nine. Okay. So this is... Actually, this one's looking good already. This is Assault. Honestly, this is a 9. This... No, this is a 9.5. This one's even... This one's a very good team. So, right here, we'll give this a 9.5. This is absolutely solid. Hi, Tokai. This is a very, very good team. I don't think you need much direction. Well, he's building Yig next. If you're building Yig, I would replace. Oops, I would replace um, Freya. 
Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. If it if it didn't have Freya, it would be a 9.5. Might lose to Azathoth? Surprisingly, no. By putting Lorelei in the front, she has no risk of getting banished by Azathoth and therefore is more guaranteed to fire. And that actually is more important than having her in the back. So this is actually better for him. This puts him in a better defensive position. Like making this change alone, Lorelei to the front to counter Azathoth is huge. Like that alone made... NDG saw it like I killed his team just by doing that so yeah Assault had a great team all right so next is gonna be Budmon Whiskey so let's get rid of okay 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 now let's see how this works Verthon Martin Wow, you have a Martin. This is where my alt is stuck. You're stuck because you can't get enough resources to level anything. Like, I feel for this very badly. I'd rather have this Valkyrie than the Martin. Uh, yeah, start working on this Valkyrie. She's better than the Martin by a long shot. So your goal then would be to focus on Ripper, Verthondi, Freya and go with those. Uh, Reaper is not a, hey Sandeep, Reaper is not a bad one as well, but in terms of how long he'll carry, he's not a priority, but he is a good choice early on. His team with a full three rounds of Miracle Eyes? Oh, yeah. Big things could happen to this team. Really big things. But he's already got... Not as much as you think, actually. Because he's already got the copies of Verthandi and some Freya. But if you can get both of these up, they're amazing. They will do amazing things for you. So this is a, a very solid position to be in. Actually, this is a really good team. Minus the Martin. Bale. Bale is not that good before T4 if you don't have Scold. T4 is what really makes him better. So, yes, yeah, 7.5. I was actually thinking 8. I was actually thinking 8. Ripper's very strong at this point, as is... Yeah, I'm going to give him an 8. Against people of the same level, he's going to do amazing things. This is a very good team. Just get this Martin out and then you'll be even better. Maybe we'll call it a 7.75 because of the Martin. It could have been an if this was an underleveled Valkyrie, it could be a, it could be an 8. Bale over Themis. I vote Bale for PvP and Themis for PvE. That is going to be my distinction. If you already have Kurt, Bale synergizes better with Kurt. But Themis is just very strong. Is Dro good now? She's very middle of the pack. There is, she's just, there's a lot of heroes better than her. Alright, next is Spiderfish. Ripper or Det. Ripper is better prior to T4. Detlaf is just trash before T4. He really is. Should you convert Horde or Undead? Nobody should convert Undead. There's no good heroes in Undead. Uh, huh. Okay, let's see here. I don't think Themis is good in this team. I really feel like Themis is going to underperform like crazy. 
Shiruo, remember that Veg is not that good before you have a full team. If the whole team is not the same star level as him, he will suffer a little bit. And if you don't have good damage behind him, he will suffer. <coughs> he's better, but he's not going to do amazing things on his own. Oh, you're on stream. What? Nothing. Not my face? Nope, not your... You're wavering in the background. What are you... Ah! Ugh. Oh my god, you're pulling in Horde? That's a terrible idea. I cannot recommend against that enough. Uh, now where are you going? Oh no. No, that's cold. Ah, that's cold. That's cold. Uh, Alright, so this team, I feel like, is just decidedly average. Sandeep, you are too late this time, but for future times, you gotta be on Discord and share your team in this channel. Alpha Dog is just a terrible idea. You could use a second- you would rather have a second- a second Scold and a Themis. You don't need second Kurt that badly. A freezer? Uh, it's it's a, there's a refrigerator in the back room. We use it as a secondary refrigerator. And that was tofu, so it's not frozen. It's just cold. Uh, I'm gonna give this a seven and a half because he does have Freya, but it's not a great team. It's it's not a great team. Themis definitely underperforms at this point. Uh, Smoke, Monkey King's good, but he's not meta. Next will be Spiegel. Like, you can pull for it if you think you'll make him, but he's not going to do amazing things for most people. Whoa, this is a good... What? Why does this... Why do people like this have to post? Like, what is this? This is a flex. This is totally a flex. Uh, I think this is the best team you can make. Alternatively, you can tank Phoenix and put Azathoth somewhere else. That's fine too. By putting Phoenix tank Valkyrie second, you can have three bubbles in the back. And I like that idea. But just take your 9.62 and go. My gosh. Why even show me this team? What a flex. Alright, next will be Cirilla, and this is the... This is the last one. Minus 10 for flexing. I wouldn't want to have Themis, Bale, and Kurt on the same team. That's pushing it a bit. Cirilla, you did not post your team, so you're going to lose some points for that. Wait, didn't you submit last time? No, you... Wait, Clickbait submitted last time. Ah! I missed Clickbait. He should not have gotten... Azeroth also! Alright, Azeroth and Clickbait are banned from the next couple. I've already, they were in the last one and I missed it. So, that is my bad and I should have caught it. I caught most of them, but I missed those. So, Azeroth and Clickbait, you are on blast for cheating. For cheating the system. This is a really good team. I don't know what you're looking for here. This is... Uh, so, Smoke... I mean... Monkey King is good, but if you have a top-tier team, you don't need him. 
If you're looking for heroes to fill out a team, you just you can make him if you want. Viv, Watchman, Yig, Aegina. Probably Yig. Yig or Vivienne would be fine. Watchman actually would only be good if you had two burst heroes. Like a Kurt alone is not enough to really maximize him, I think. You lose too much utility on the rest of the team to have him. So probably Yig next. Vivienne is just kind of for fun. She'll work, but I don't think that either, uh, I don't think that you'll see major improvements from either her or Yig, to be honest. So Vivienne is better if you don't fight Azathoths, but if you do, you're screwed. So Yig is more random, but Vivienne has a hard counter, so it's really a coin toss on those two but it absolutely is not a gina or watchman it really is a coin toss between viv and yig at your point i'm gonna give this an eight and a half i feel like it falters a little bit because skull's revive is wasted but it's fine at least she's still there to give crowd control cleansing to Kurt, which is really all that matters the most. Alright, how many teams did we do? 3, 7, 10, 14, 17, 21, 25. We did 31 teams today. A little bit lower than normal, but I think it's okay. Themis T2 or Freya 10. Uh, a single T4 beats an entire team of 10 stars, so you take Themis up. Sandeep, I, th I mean, which one, which next event do you mean? Next Miracle Eyes? Because Keys comes before Miracle Eyes. So next Keys, I think, will be someone else, and then will be Arwen. Miracle Eyes, we just don't know. You're not going to get Yig in a consecutive Key event. He will not be in Keys again that fast. Like, best artifact for Viv? I am the wrong person to ask for that. I feel like either Gospel Song or Energy is fine. Um, I really don't know. There's a guy on the Discord named Rohit who posts a lot of images of his Vivienne. And I do not know what he uses. I feel like... Because he tanks with Vivienne. So, I don't know that she needs, like, a Scorching Sun or a Bone Grip. I think she would do okay with Energy. But I think Gospel Song is also valid. You gotta ask him, actually. He would know better than I would. I really, I really am not sure on Vivienne. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Remember, guys, tomorrow is a collection event, so be sure to pre-idle. Um, to max, you will get probably 60 ish extra wands, and that could potentially be the difference between reaching 3500 free or not if you've seen the math. So, it's very important to pre idle for this one, especially if you're not planning to spend any money. And actually, that only matters if you want to play bingo. If you're not going to play bingo, then it doesn't matter that much. I guess there's a lot of ways to think about it. All right. Good night, everybody. Uh, Merry Christmas in advance. I will have a short stream tomorrow, but community pulls will be on Saturday around 1 p.m. Pacific time. Convert into your own time, time frame. Good night, everyone, and see you next time.